I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't believe you're guilty. I know that sounds strange, but I have my reasons. But you are gonna have to help me to prove your innocence because the odds are stacked against you. You've lost, Ethan. What will you gain with one more victim? Huh? Look at these, Ethan. Look at these! Eight photographs. Eight lives taken. Drowned in the goddamn rain! Recognize this one, huh? That's your son, Ethan. That's Sean. He is still alive! Talk to me, Ethan. Say something! I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. But the only way to find him is to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him. You don't remember anything, but you think you're the origami killer. I'm sorry, Ethan, but you're gonna have to do a lot better than that if you want me to believe you. I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. Time's running out, Ethan. And frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean? I told you, I don't know. Ah! Blake, what are you doing? This guy's a killer. He's got no fucking rights. He's gonna tell me everything. Oh! Carter, stop. I'm gonna report you for this. Go ahead, get the hell out of here. I couldn't stand you from the very beginning, Norman! Now get the fuck out! You fuck! Are you gonna tell me what I wanna know or I'm gonna fuck you? Come on, asshole! I've been waiting for this for a long time. Come on, come on there, pussy! Let's see what you got. <sighs> You wanna play games, asshole? Come on, let's play a little game. You're out of your mind, Blake. This is gonna cost you your badge. You better get the hell out of here, Norman, before I give in to the temptation of painting the walls with your fucking brains. Blake is trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Mars. You've got to do something! Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that lowlife a few bruises? We 
You can't make omelets without breaking a few eggs. God damn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! This case has worn you out, Norman. You need some time off to think it through. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit, neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you-know-what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but... that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park when in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Ah, pity we can't see the driver's face.
The car was stolen. Let's see, a certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. <laughs>